When the power goes out at your house, it could be a few things, most likely your breaker box or panel. You can check them and possibly reset them yourself. This avoids a crew coming to your house and you being billed for maintenance. First, check to see if your neighbor's power is out as well. This is the easiest and quickest way to confirm that an outage has occurred. If the neighbors do have power, or if neighbors are too far away to confirm, then you'll need to begin to check your own property. The first easy thing to check is your meter. If your meter screen is blank, it may be best to call the cooperative. If your meter still has information on it, then proceed to check your breakers. Before you try to reset any breakers, do not operate breakers if you see any exposed wiring in the breaker panel. Do not operate breakers while standing in water. Do not use tools to access or operate breakers. You should be able to access them and operate them by hand. And always have a flashlight handy when going to check your breakers. This is a panel inside the house. Most of the time you can find them in a garage, utility room, basement, or maybe even a closet in an older home. As you can see, there are the sub feeds. These are the smaller breakers that feed washers, dryers, ovens, and other rooms. If one was to trip off, you would take it, put it all the way into the off position, and then back on. That may help you out as far as bringing your power back on in a certain room, or if you have certain outlets out. In older homes, there are many fuses that could have blown as well. These homes have not upgraded to a breaker panel. Fuses are more difficult to check than a breaker. Since most people do not know how to ohm out a fuse, when your house has a blown fuse, please contact a licensed electrician. Also on the inside panel is the house's main breaker switch that controls the power coming in from the outside. You would check this the same as the subfeeds. If it is tripped, put it all the way off and then back on. If your house still does not have power, you'll need to check your outside main breaker. First, check to see if your house has an outside breaker. The breaker will be on the outside of the house or attached to a pole. It might also be connected or attached to the meter as well. If your house does not have an outside breaker and you don't have power, you'll need to call your local co-op for assistance. If you have found your outside breaker, this breaker works the same way as your inside breakers. If tripped, pull the breaker all the way off and push it back on. The breaker should be clearly marked on or off. Never remove inside breaker panel covers, exposing wires inside the panel. Removing covers can cause electrocution, even when the main breaker is turned off. Please contact a licensed electrician or your cooperative. If after making sure all the breakers are in the on position, there still isn't any power in the house, please call your local cooperative for assistance.